Type Pine Ridge Reservation into any internet search and you can read all about the hardships on the South Dakota Reservation. Leaders at Gunderson Lutheran read about the health care crisis and wanted to help. In May, photographer Kirk Arneson and I traveled with a team from Gunderson providing free health care in the village of Porcupine. That's just a few miles from the historic site of Wounded Knee. This morning in our exclusive series, Healers at Wounded Knee, why this unique partnership is so important. And this is the new medicine. Dr. Laura Ree could have spent her vacation time away from work, lying on a sandy beach. Instead, the resident of internal medicine and eight other doctors and nurses from Gunderson Lutheran spent their time and paid their own way to practice medicine under primitive conditions. We all think about people overseas, but there's so many people in our own country that need good health care that don't have access to it. For almost a year now, different Gunderson staff members have volunteered to provide free health care on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation for one week each month. They work in the small village of Porcupine, located about 25 miles from the reservation's medical center. Many here don't have the means to get to the hospital. If they do, they face long lines or possibly being turned away because of a lack of hospital funding. This sort of condition shouldn't really be in this country. And it's an opportunity for us to kind of level the playing field for, um, for health care for these people. Dr. Bob Witt and registered nurse Rose Netzer are two of the coordinators of Gunderson's Global Partners Program. Established in 2008, Global Partners develops long-term relationships in communities around the world where there is limited access to health care. Native American leaders in South Dakota invited Gunderson to work in a vacant clinic in Porcupine. I think Gunderson Lutheran has really established a positive relationship with the community. Um, in the months that they've been here, we, we at the tribal health programs here positive comments on the services that they are delivering. The team works eight hours a day treating as many patients as they can. Most patients are initially seen for viruses or minor injuries. You're feeling better today? Some continue to come back on a monthly basis to be seen by a Gunderson physician for preventative care and health education. Care they would otherwise go without. So tell me about yourself. That's really pretty. Thank you. Patients like Reva Redfeather. Reva has diabetes and says thanks to the Gunderson staff, she's learned how to manage her disease. I'm regulating my blood sugars and I'm doing good and I'm walking a lot, so I'm doing good. On top of providing quality care, the Gunderson group has pledged to do something none of the other groups who volunteered at the reservation have. They've made a promise to keep coming back. Somebody asked yesterday of Dr. Witt, how long will you be here? And he, you know, you kind of hem and haw a little bit and you go, well, forever. Um, we'll be here until we don't need to be here. A commitment tribal leaders and the Porcupine community believe in. They've earned the respect of the community because they keep coming back. And that goes a long ways with our people, the trust. They built trust. Indian Health Services provides Gunderson with some of the drugs and supplies they need to run the Porcupine Clinic. Community members here in La Crosse have also donated items. Every person seen at the clinic leaves with things like fresh fruit, detergent, and first aid supplies. Rose hopes sometime soon, volunteers from outside of the hospital will also be invited to travel with the Gunderson team. For example, carpenters or gardeners who could help with some of the community's non-medical needs.